Ha! I got gotcha. you. You can run, but you can't hide, guys. Besides, I knew you had to eat breakfast. Excuse me, honey, you're standing in front of the toaster. Sorry, sorry. So here we all are, together as a happy family. Dad, could you get the orange juice? Yes, sweetie. Thanks. Good old vitamin C. It's good for an immune system. Seriously, guys, I want to give the old family a shot of vitamin B today. Vitamin B? Yeah, vitamin B, Timmy. As in the Bible, it's an essential part of this complete breakfast. Oh, brother. Dad, why are you so weird? I know, right? Shouldn't you be at work or checking Facebook? Or at work checking Facebook? Facebook, Timmy? How about Facebook? Seriously, guys, I think it's important for us to all start gathering around this Facebook on a regular basis. And what better time to do that than around the breakfast table? Let us taste and see that the Lord is good. Besides, Man cannot live by English muffins alone. So we've been talking a lot about it at church lately, the integration of church life and home life. And it's been convicting, I gotta tell you. Yeah, I can't even remember the last time that we all read the Bible together. Well, that's because we've never actually done that. I mean, I think the last time I remember us reading the Bible was when I was in labor with our first child. And that was strictly for your benefit, not mine. I still passed out. It was pretty embarrassing. So what do you guys say? Can we do this as a family, as a team? Dad, I have to cram for this exam. I totally didn't study enough last night. Well, maybe you should have thought of that last night, little lady, before you went to the movies with Reggie. His name is Teddy. And besides, that movie was a required homework assignment. Oh, I wish I could have gone to the movies for homework when I was younger on dates as well. You wish you could have gone on dates, period, when you were younger. Okay, Dad, I think you're right. You do? Yeah, let's do it. Let's all read the Bible together. Honey, are you feeling all right? That's swine flu. It's called reverse psychology. My social studies teacher taught us all about it, and I thought I'd give it a try. Well, that sure backfired. Silly Maria. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's not just going to start talking to us. I think you have to open it and read it. I know, Jill, but I don't exactly know where to begin. Well, I don't know. Just open it, close your eyes, point, and God or somebody will tell you what to read. Okay. Why don't we try that? Well, what does it say? Well, it says your navel is a rounded goblet that never lacks blended wine. Uh, your waist is a mound of weed encircled by lilies. Your breasts are like... Okay, okay, we get it. That's in the Bible? Let me see, is it illustrated? Oh. I just never knew the Bible could be so exciting. Don't get too excited. 